Yeah, um, yeah, the conclusion then. Um, yeah, the, the live shows. What the uh, what's what's the the great thing about you live? What was what's, what's happening with you? Well, it's and very, very, very intense. It's uh, quite loud. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we don't okay. know it. <laughs> <laughs> We've never seen them before in mm. our lives. Uh, it's very, very intense. It's very loud. It's very exciting. Um, personally, I wouldn't stand in the front. You're going to get hurt. You will um, get crushed. Yeah, you will get crushed. Uh, you're going to come out there probably losing a shoe. Maybe your mobile phone will be missing and you'll be very, very sweaty. Because um, certain places where we go to, we get circle pits, get mosh pits. The lot, so it's very, very intense. Okay, can you name um, bands that you saw earlier, uh, uh, where you saw the, the same reaction um, as people have now on your music? Well, or? when we played, the reaction that we got in Reading Festival this year was absolutely immense because uh, uh, there were so many people in the tent that we played at, and twice as many people outside the tent wanted to come in. And I've been told that the last time that anybody had a reaction like that in that tent in the Reading Festival was Foo Fighters in 1995. So that's all I could, what, what you can gather from that, I don't know. But the uh, crowds <laughs> react similarly to Rage Against the Machine as they do to us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what? What do you think it is? Why? Why did they? Is it, is it the energy? The yes. Yeah. yeah. It's the energy. Because there's a lot of energy coming off stage, I'm sure that the, the crowd pick up on that as well. If we were playing ballads, then they, I'm sure they wouldn't do it, but we play a lot of very, very fast songs, so... Um, mm. and that's the only way you're really going to react to it, you can't really stand still. But sonically, yeah. I think um, our, music's, our music's doing something that hasn't really been done before at that kind of intensity. It's because it's got sub basses and it's got all the, all the really sort of synthetic pure electronic sounds and then the grating kind of cymbals and guitars so having that all at once I think is turning crowds into a frenzy because I actually haven't seen reactions to other bands as much as as, as intense as they react to us it's some some of the places we go to are just really you know it's actually quite dangerous yeah well, we, a, lot, we, a lot of people get really hurt and stuff. yeah there was a there was a health and safety uh, forum uh, f uh, about a month ago and the health and, health and safety people use Pendulum as an example of <laughs> what not to do in a, co in a con concert. Uh, I was quite impressed by that, to tell you the truth. But, okay. but Especially since, I mean, it's literally we're talking with, with the music. We're not, when there's no screaming and there's, to, you know, there's not in, in that heavy metal kind of way, but yet we're getting the same, if not more, of an intense reaction that heavy metal bands get. I mean, we played at Download earlier this year, which is, the key uh, and, and biggest metal festival in the UK, I and mean, it's notorious for if a band isn't even slightly hard enough, they get they get a lot of bottles of piss thrown at them. So, and we mm. thought we thought we were going to get it bad. Yeah. But we came out, we came on stage and turned thirty five thousand people upside down, basically. Yeah. It was crazy. Because we were we were talking uh, just before going on stage. Right, we are going to get balls of piss thrown at us. What are we going to do? When are we going to, yeah. We were uh, just ready are we going to stay on stage? We, well, we, yes, just stay on stage. Doesn't matter if you get a bottle of piss in your mouth. We don't give. Yeah, but there wasn't one. any bottles. And we get was, a single one. I, I counted nine circle pits in the uh, in the audience at one at one time. I was blown away. That's, that's, yeah. the, that's the crazy thing about playing to an audience that big. When you're playing to thirty-five thousand people or seventy thousand. People, you get to see, you get to actually see sound for the first time because, yeah. as as the first note hits, you'll see this ripple effect of people as as the sound travels out over the crowd. Yeah. They'll they'll all start moving at different times. And you yeah. can actually see this Mexican wave kind of thing heading out <laughs> away from the stage. It's it's download was just immense like that. Mm. It's, okay, it's a really good experience. But is now maybe also the challenge um, when you're working on your album to make it even more intense, maybe or or that. I think the, the, the way Rob mixes songs down is what I call the pendulum sound. It's, it's the way he's always mixed down our tunes in a certain way, and I think it's it's a matter of just sque squeezing every available frequency out of out of every instrument that's in there, you know, and, and really filling the entire sonic spectrum. And I think that is what makes it so energetic. 
I think it'll, yeah. st well, it'll still be a wall of sound. It's, yeah. it's no doubt but it'll still be a wall of sound. No ballads. <laughs> no ballads, even, no. Even if it was a ballad, it would still kick in the fence. Yeah, yeah. It'll just be a very, very, very fast ballad. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much, guys. No Cheers. worries.